Today I saw something interesting online. Someone was talking about um, a question that they heard on the Steve Harvey show this morning. It doesn't play out here in the Bay Area anymore, so the only word that I get about the Steve Harvey show is from, you know, social media. But anyway, this person says, um, and who, you know, who leads the household in a marriage, the man or the woman? They said on the radio that it's okay for the woman to lead and train the husband. And this person was looking for thoughts. And he says in his household, God is the head of my house. And me as a man, I'm leading my house and my wife follows me, then my children. Your thoughts, please. So, you know, people chimed in. The majority followed that script. Keep in mind, though, the majority of these women talking all this shit and these men as well are not and have never been married. So they live in on some, you know, fantasy mind fucks thing where they are talking about the Bible that they don't even follow because everybody fucking and doing everything else that they want to do. But they want to pick out, you know, be cherry pickers and pick out bits and pieces of the scripture that they think they should follow. See, so to me, that's bullshit. It's bullshit from day one. It's bullshit till the day you die. If you're not going to do the whole thing, then don't do none of it. And don't come at me with this bullshit talking about, well, you know, this is how it should be. No, how it's supposed to be is you ain't supposed to be fucking. You ain't supposed to be having kids. You ain't supposed to be doing half the shit that niggas be doing. And, and, you know, and thinking that that shit is okay. But let's flip back to this, okay? Because as you can probably tell, I'm very irritated at black women for this shit here. Okay, now y'all be talking all this smack about, you know, you need your man to lead. Who, where, why? Okay, look at what's the state of black America right now. What is, where do you see any male leadership? Please explain that to me. Where, where you see it at? Okay, if you saw that kind of thing, if you saw black men stepping up and doing stuff to correct the violence in the communities, the violence against women, the sex trafficking, all the stuff that's going on with our children, molestations, drug abuse, all the stuff. Okay, if you saw black men stepping up to correct and control those behaviors, then I could see what you're talking about. Instead, they're the ones perpetrating these crimes against you. Every time you turn around, it's like something else in the news where some niggas then abducted somebody's daughter and put her into sex trafficking somebody's kid that got molested somebody's kid that got gunned down on the street like a dog you know what I mean so it's like I'm looking at all this and I'm thinking okay this is another instance of cognitive dissonance where black women are having some kind of mental breakdown of expectation of black men being leaders and great and positive and all this stuff which they may be on an individual basis but see you have to figure out you can't go around talking about well I need my man to lead when you haven't even met the man yet you don't even know the motherfucker but here you are talking about well you this is what you want him to do this is your expectation and you see no evidence of that being in in his skill set any way shape or form because otherwise this shit that we're living in right now this blackistan neighborhood shit that we have all over the country it wouldn't be happening but see, y'all, your minds are all fucked up. And you sitting up there talking about, well, some shit that happened in some book that was written 53, 5 million years ago when society was completely different. Women didn't vote. Women didn't own shit. Women didn't work. Women didn't have a voice. Women couldn't even get custody of their kids. Couldn't Women couldn't drive because there was no cars. But I mean, they couldn't even ride a horse or anything else by themselves. Women couldn't do anything. Okay, women were nothing but chattel in those days when the Bible was written. So y'all sitting up there talking about, well, you know, I want to, I want my man to lead like, he, you know, men did this and that years ago. Nothing about today is the same. Hey, clinging to some fantasy idea of manhood and marriage and what you should be as a woman based on some shit from two, three thousand years ago is fucking stupid. It's like ridiculous and it's insane. I don't even understand how you wrap your minds around this. It's, it just makes no sense. I mean, it's fine for you to have a belief in something outside and more powerful than yourself. But looking at those rules of behavior for women and relationships and trying to apply it to relationships in 2017 is just stupid. I mean, I can't even think of any other word to use, any adjective that would be more appropriate than dumb. Okay, because it just makes no fucking sense at all. So these sisters, they kept on talking about, well, you know, the order. There's this order. You know, the word, um, 
the husband, it, I mean, the husband's supposed to follow God, Yahweh, you know, Jehovah, whatever the fuck you want to call it. And then um, the, the husband follows that. And then the husband leaves the wife and then the wife leaves the children or whatever, you know, however they want to do it. Okay. When you look at the black community, you got 70, 80 percent of the houses, households being headed by women. Okay, then you get a man. Okay, you start fucking somebody, then you decide you're gonna get married. He gonna move in or whatever. Suddenly, you want to transfer all the responsibility for your life and your kids and your household to this individual because you under this belief that you know that's how it's quote supposed to be. Why? You've been handling your business by yourself all this time. There's no reason in this world for you to turn over the reins to someone who hasn't even yet proven that he's capable of doing it. Now, one of these women was like, well, you know, I try to, quote, let my husband lead, but he doesn't step up. Okay. Okay. The fact that you have to step aside and, quote, let him do anything shows that he's not leadership material. You are. You're the one leading. What you want to do is sit down and try to pretend like you look weak and all this stuff to, quote, put him in a position where he's looking like a man. Stop doing that shit. If he's not leadership material, don't pretend to yourself or to him that he is. That's folly. And what are you teaching your kids? Look at how you're behaving. Look at what the what you're, the image that you're projecting to your children, especially to your daughters. That you know that you're incapable of doing anything unless a man tells you to do it, unless a man guides you to do it. What the fuck are you blind? All of a sudden, you blind and stupid, and you can't see nothing. You can't think for yourself. You have to have some man that you just got with suddenly take over your life and all decisions. That makes no goddamn sense what so fucking ever. And as you keep seeing black women following this script, where has it gotten you? Okay, look at you. Look at look at us. Okay, look at how many of us have this kind of ideal relationship? Zero. Okay, even if you're thinking that you're in a situation where your man is leading, he ain't leading shit. He, you have to correct his fucking ass every time you turn around because they make dumb decisions. Men don't have any knowledge about children and emotional support and you know because when you talk about leadership you're not just and and taking care of and protecting and all that stuff you're not just talking about physical okay when you're doing it because if you're responsible for the people in your household mentally emotionally spiritually educationally financially and a whole bunch of other stuff how many niggas are doing that shit Please explain that to me. If the woman wasn't out there working, the ends wouldn't be meeting. So you have just as much right to have a voice in that household as he does because you bring it in half and sometimes even more of the money. Okay, you also have all the responsibility for the children. You're making sure the shit is going on in the household. You're coordinating events like, you know, to show appreciation to his damn mama, Mother's Day and all this other stuff for his relatives. You're doing all of that. Where the fuck is he leading? Where, what, where, where, what part of that is showing where he's taking charge of anything? See, I don't understand what you all are talking about. Where is this, this magic coming in? So this woman... Um, you know, she's talking about, well, she lets her husband lead and I had, and, but he doesn't step up. So I had to ask her, you know, she said, like, well, you know, he doesn't really seem like he really wants to do it or, you know, he doesn't do it. He runs away, whatever she said. I, I can't remember exact word for word, but basically, you know, he, he abdicates what she feels is his responsibility as a leader, forcing her to step in to do it. My question to her was, when did he ever tell you that that's what he wanted to do? When did he ever demand leadership? When did you ever sit down with him and talk about what your expectations were for what leadership means as head of household and tell him that that was the role that you wanted him to play? When did that happen? Obviously, it didn't because the fact that she has these expectations and he runs away from them. If they had talked about this beforehand, she would understand that the man that she's marrying, which is most of the men that y'all marrying, are not capable of stepping up and taking on that level of responsibility. Not only are they ill prepared for it, they don't have the skill set for it and they ain't even trying to do it because they know they're going to fail. Men do not have the skill set to run a household and to take care of a family like that by themselves. They don't do it. Even when men have custody of their kids and the woman is, you know, the mother of the children is off somewhere, he still depends on other women like his mother, his sisters, and all this stuff, you know, to help him with his kids. So don't think that men, you know, they're just not capable. I don't understand where y'all getting off with this with this stuff where you think that this is how you should 
you know how your relationship is supposed to be divine order god husband then wife how many of these motherfuckers go to church how many of them proclaim that they read the you know how many of them read the bible how many of them adhere to the the tenets of the religion that you're trying to hold them to a standard of in how many none because black men ain't trying to go to church. They ain't trying to be up under some pastor and listen to him and suck in his dick like that. They're not trying to do that. Because it means then that you know they're weak. If another man has a bow down to some other man, it makes him a punk. And if you have a husband like that, he telling you he don't want to go to church, your man don't want to go to church, understand his mindset. He's not trying to be controlled by some other dude. You want to be controlled by some other dude. He ain't trying to have himself be like that. But yet that still doesn't mean that he wants to be the leader of the household and have all that responsibility on his shoulders while you sit on your ass. Stop thinking that. Stop Stop even wanting that. Stop talking about that. It doesn't exist. This is 20 fucking 17. You all talk yourself about some shit from 34 BC or some bullshit. It doesn't. It's not going to happen. You're sitting there thinking that this man is going to be all this perfect leader and all this stuff. Who's teaching them how to do that? Who? They're growing up fatherless. Where's this example of leadership that they're supposed to have learned so that they've come equipped to handle the, the load that you want to dump on their shoulders? Y'all need to get real with yourselves and stop with this. There's no, I mean, okay, there might be like 5% of dudes who grew up in a household where their dad was present and their dad showed that kind of, deter, you know, decision-making aplomb. But when you really look at them, because I've seen couples like this, mature couples, the man will admit that every decision that he makes, he talks it over first with his mate before a decision is made. He wants her buy-in. He needs her buy-in. He's going to listen to her counter views and then make a decision. So no matter what, what he thinks he's leading, he's not leading shit by himself. And that's what you all, that's the mistake that you all are making. You thinking they got a dictatorship or you want this dude to step into your life and take the fuck over like he's your daddy or some shit. This is your man. Okay, y'all supposed to be partners. You're supposed to be working together. And if you have any kind of intelligence and education at all, what you think and what you feel and your life experience and your contribution to the to the betterment of that household is just as important as he is. You need to remember that and stop discounting yourself and downplaying yourself. This is ridiculous. I mean, I read this whole thread and I was just like hot by the time I got done with it. And... Um, you know, these, you also have to factor in, this is the other thing, you know, so you have all this stuff, right? This stuff, everything is Bible based or whatever. It's all based on religion. Well, what if you're like me and you're an atheist? I don't give a fuck about what God or Jesus says. That's irrelevant in my life. It has no bearing whatsoever. ever. So when you count that in, it doesn't mean that I don't want to treat my man with respect. Don't get me wrong. There's a difference between following some ancient book and being a person with some fucking sense, knowing how you're supposed to treat your partner. Okay, I don't need an ancient book to tell me how to do that. But y'all want to follow these scripts in, in from written in times that don't apply to now. Women didn't work outside the home. They didn't earn a paycheck. They didn't have stay-at-home husbands while the wife worked situation. They didn't have daycare. They didn't have cars. Women didn't have to commute. Women didn't drive. Women didn't take responsibility. Women didn't own businesses. Women couldn't vote. There's a whole bunch of things that women couldn't do in those days where you won't want to want to talk about where your man leading. You have to look at the culture that was involved there. A girl lived at home until she moved into the home of her husband. Women took men's last name and women were looked at as property of their husbands. They couldn't even inherit. The husband inherited their stuff from their father. And that's why the father wanted somebody who he felt would take good care of his lands and his cows and his buildings and all this old shit. And, you know, would treat his daughter with respect. Women now don't live under those kind of rules and regulations. Why you all want to put yourself in that talking about, well, this is what the way it's supposed to be. It's like, what? Look at a calendar. Flip forward. OK, we ain't in them days anymore. And you need to readjust your mentality. First, you know, first of all, um, what I suggest is if you get with a man, talk to him about this stuff. Talk to him about leadership and submission 
and what his role what what you think his role should be and he's going to tell you about what you he thinks your role should be and then y'all need to negotiate that you need to come to some kind of agreement before you ever even think about moving in together or getting married because when you're going to have all these like secret expectations for your mate to perform up to some standard that they don't know that you you have in your head you're going to constantly be disappointed they're going to constantly feel frustrated and like they're not good enough and that they're not pleasing you it is a fucking disaster to have a relationship like that you have got to talk more you have got to really expose who you are inside and what you think what you want what you expect from your relationship there's a lot more than quote being in love to have another happy long-term relationship you guys have got to do better You've got to do better. Judging by this thread that I saw today, you know, there's like lots and lots of uh, black women who have never been married, whose heads are full of smoke and dreams about what a relationship is supposed to be like. And then when it doesn't turn out that way, then you end up divorced. You need to think about the shit before you get married. I constantly am harping on this to think, use your head, be logical. Use your heart, certainly, but you got to, you know, kind of suppress that a little bit and use your head and really think and analyze not only the situation that you're in, but the man that you're in the situation with. You have all these undercover secret expectations from your fairy tales and your Sunday school days. Is this dude on the same page? That is a key important, just a key ingredient in the happiness of your relationship and the longevity of a marriage so then you won't be popping in and out being married for two years and then a divorce trying to figure what happened when you know you find out that the two of you are uh, have irreconcilable differences because you went into this shit without having a clear idea of who and what each other were and what each was wanting and looking for and expecting from the other in your relationship that is my advice you know just really really think about this and what about that situation that man leading shit really applies in 2017 i doubt any of it this is deb cooper from survivingdating.com signing out